What is up, YouTube? Kick some caffeine back again. Um, another unboxing for you guys today. You all know what it is. Uh, another one, another pair. Easy Boost 350 V2. Um, you'll see there the product code on this one is uh, BY1605. And the colorway is Core Black, uh, Cop MT Core Black. Um, so this is the Core Black and the Copper pair. Uh, copper Metallic, I guess. Cop C, C O W P M T, it says. Uh, I guess it means Copper Metallic or Copper Metal or Copper, anyway. So straight into the box. I'm not going to keep you too long. Um, You've seen my video uh, of the unboxing of the 350 V2 uh, Belugas. These are pretty much the same. Um, oh, looks like 320. Um, these are pretty much the same shoe. They are a different size. Um, I've been looking for these. I missed out on the release day, as always. Nothing new there. Um, but I've been looking for these in a good price since they did drop. This one came along from a guy that I know. That I've bought from before, so I know they're legit. You know, I know where I know obviously where the money, you know, where they were purchased from. Um, I've got the receipt and everything in here with them, and they were a really, really good price. You know, because I know the guy, uh, he did me a good price on them. Um, the Belugas that I have are UK 11. In the v in that video, you will probably remember that I said in the V1 I wear a nine and a half. I'm a ten true to size. Uh, and everyone was saying that the uh, V2, uh, you had to go up a size because they fit a lot tighter than the V1s. Um, so I went up a full size, and although they do fit, uh, I wear them with the Ultra Boost insoles in there, and although they do fit, they are a really tight shoe, they are really snug around the front of the foot, they're just, they're just a tiny bit loose on the heel. Um, so. I probably could have got away with going for sort of a a 10.5 or even a 10. Uh, my cousin, he managed to buy a pair of the Belugas for retail. He's a 9 dude size, he got a 9 in the Belugas and they fit him just fine. So I, I, to be fair, I probably need a 10. This pair is a size 9.5 and, and to wear them, unfortunately I have to take the insoles out, which a lot of people are doing anyway. A lot of people that got the uh, Belugas uh, went through to size. Um, oh, sorry, went half a size down like they did in the V1s and realised that they don't fit the same so they were having to remove the insoles to wear them. Um, it's not a massive issue, just removing the insole on this, it's like the Ultra Boost. The Ultra Boost has an insole, uh, the NMDs don't have an insole. If you take the insole out, it's underneath the insole, it's exactly the same as the uh, the NMD, it's just, you know, your foot straight and cushioning. Some people say it's more comfortable. I personally, I, I, it, it's not a massive difference but it's not as comfortable as wearing it with an insole especially if you put a um, ultra boost insole into the easy V2s that makes them so so comfortable um, but yeah um, wearing them without the insole doesn't make them uncomfortable it just makes them feel like uh, you're wearing a pair of NMDs so I can live with that for the price that I paid for these because it was a really good price compared to everyone else on uh, eBay at the moment but I'll get straight into the box. So the box is pretty much the same. They're a lot smaller than the uh, the V2 box. Anyway, the box is identical. So we've got the Easy Boost uh, 350, made by Adidas, Adidas.com forward slash Kanye. Um, boost on this side, nothing on this side. Big 350 on the top, nothing on the bottom. And then the Easy Boost 350, made by Adidas, Adidas.com forward slash Kanye, with the label over the top, same as the uh, Beluga pair. So, I'm we'll getting into them the same way. Put a finger in here, pull. And we pull and we pull and we pull. So, we've got that paper in there. And the first shoe. And under the rest of the paper, we have the second shoe. Got the receipt in there, and that's pretty much everything that's in the box. So, without further ado, I'll get that out of the way, and we will uh, start chatting about these shoes. So, the, these are the uh, V2 um, coppers, black coppers, 
as you all know, there was three um, three colorways released in these, so they were all black. One had a red stripe, one had a copper stripe, and the other pair had a uh, olive green stripe. The red ones were nice, the olive ones were okay, this was my favorite pair by a long shot from all of them. This was the only pair that I really wanted out of the pack. Uh, I did try and get them on release, and I didn't get lucky. Um, so obviously I've had to re resort to resell. Uh, I said I wasn't going to do it, I said I was just going to wait for the Oreo to release and try and get lucky with those, but having a friend come up with these at a really good price, I uh, I couldn't really say no, I couldn't turn it down. So um, Pretty much the exact same shoe, same silhouette, same uh, three yarn twirling things up uh, on the top as the Beluga pair. Um, I'll see if I can get some focus in there. The knit detail on these is absolutely insane, the same as the Beluga. Obviously the Beluga had the three yarn uh, twill, uh, three yarn knit where it used the uh, different, uh, the grey, the black and the solar red. This one just has two, so this is like a two yarn uh, knit. Obviously it's got the black there and then it's got the copper uh, knit as well. Obviously that stripe's not printed on there, that is actually part of the knit. Um, so same as the Beluga, we've got this stripe that goes from front to back. Um, SLPY350. Um, I did mention in the uh, Beluga video. Obviously, we assume that it says it means Supply 350, as that's what it used to sell in the uh, V1 350 boxes. Um, still not confirmed, but there was rumours going around when the Beluga released that it actually stands for Saint Pablo Loves You. Uh, again, not confirmed. People were saying that after the uh, Beluga release, uh, Kanye hasn't came out, uh, hasn't come out, and. Uh, and confirmed or denied so um, I am going to choose to believe that that means St. Pablo loves you 350 um, on the other shoe on this one the, on the Belugas it's the uh, the SPLY 350 was the same both ways on this pair the SPLY has been reversed so it's been mirrored on the uh, on the right foot so it's actually backwards this is how the sample pairs were when we saw um, King Kanye uh, wearing these uh, as the sample pairs before the uh, release. So obviously we've got that knit in there and this copper knit does go through into this speckle the same as on the Beluga where the solar red speckle. So it is, it's not just a, an all black upper, we, we do, you can see it there look, you can see the, um, the uh, copper uh, knit speckling through the shoe which is a really really cool feature um, breaks breaks away from the all black upper some people love a, an all black upper me personally I don't mind a, an all black upper um, but I do like it when it's broken up a little bit with a bit of colour um, and obviously this uh, you know this copper speckle through the shoe does just that um, so yeah, I do really like it. They are a really nice pair of 350s to be fair. Feel really nice. The knit's really thick, same as the Beluga. Um, they are really padded in the heel. Got really good feel on the upper. Um, you can see that, uh, that knit through there, that copper knit on the inside. Um, let me get this paper out there, actually I'll speak about that after. So what we've got on this is obviously we've got this uh, translucent um, black um, sole. Same as the V2 uh, Beluga, it, it is translucent, you can see through there. Um, you can just see through to the, there's a bit of white, it's hard to see, it's hard to tell in this video, but uh, there's, you can see the white through there and that's actually the boost on the insole. Again, a lot more boost on this than there was on the um, 350v ones so there are you know they're a lot more comfortable than the than the v ones obviously this stripe carries through to the other side again we've got this uh, signature figure of eight um, stitching detail up the rear the same as the beluga and uh, it's hard to tell on the front because it's all black but we've got that figure of eight stitching up the front as well there we go, you can just make it out there. And obviously that goes all the way up to the top of the tongue. 
Um, on the inside, obviously we've got this really high cut uh, instep, the same as the V2. Holds the arch of your foot in place a little better. Some people have complained about it, saying that obviously it hurts the foot. I guess it's because they've got a lower arch than this, but um, they fit my foot just fine. Got this uh, boost patch to the heel. Obviously we've got the boost, uh, visible boost section. Um, this nice uh, flowing pattern that sort of like flows to the front of the foot and twists up. Visible boost at the top again as always. Well, not as always, but same as the uh, same as the beluga pair. Um, Adidas branding to the tail. Can't really, uh, can't really get a good image of the boost through there to show the the pattern. Um, see if I can get get one of the boosts on here. Quite hard to capture. But the same as the uh, Beluga V2, obviously they've changed the pattern now. Rather than having like the V1 where it had the six um, dots, three by three, and then one at the top, this has got the sort of like sword like cross at the bottom one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven going up here. And it's not the stars anymore, it's these uh, striped balls or striped circles, should I say. Really, really difficult to get a good shot of them. So there's the. Uh, there's the pattern on the boost on these. Really soft, really smooth again, just like the 750 boost. Uh, in not, not not like the 350 V1 boost. We got these black uh, single tone um, laces, monotone laces. No speckle or anything through there. Just a nice big thick uh, black rope lace. Pull this paper out. Obviously we've just got the ball of paper in there and then the insole which on these uh, three coloured pairs same as the others it just says Adidas with the uh, Trifor badge and then obviously Yeezy on the copper pair the print, the Adidas Yeezy print is copper on the red pair it is red and on the green pair it is green um, just to the inside of this tongue same as the V2 Beluga we've got these three stripes um, I do believe that on this pair uh, it is 3M. Um, it is. It is. I can see it showing up here. It's not. Uh, it's not showing up very well on the camera. Um, let's see if I can take a photo of it using flash. Yeah. So yeah, they're, they're on the photo I've just taken with flash. You can see that the stripes have lit up on the uh, on, under the camera, taking a photo using the flash. Um, so that's another cool feature added. Obviously, I'll pull out this insole, show you the insole and whatnot. So this is the insoles to them, same as the Beluga. Um, pretty much the same as the 350V1s and everything as well, actually. Um, but we've got the Adidas Yeezy in copper. Obviously to the underside of it we've got this uh, Adidas Trayfold badge to the heel. The square prints and obviously these footprints where the uh, ball of the foot and uh, the toe, toes go. Uh, we've got some writing on the inside. YH0010 8.5 to 9.5. So this is the same insole that I'll be used in the uh, all shoes between 8.5, 9 and 9.5. Sizes 8.5 to 9.5. Um, pretty standard really. And then obviously underneath the uh, insole, as you can see there, we've got straight onto the boost and then we've just got this little thin single um, layer material over the boost. Exactly the same as what we see in a um, an NMD. So obviously wearing these without the insole is no different to wearing an NMD really. And that's how I'm going to be wearing them because uh, that's how I have to wear them to make this pair fit. It's not a problem. I'm not, not bothered about that in the slightest. Doesn't doesn't bother me for the price that I paid. Um, so the other shoe is the same as I said apart from obviously the, uh, the supply or the St. Pablo Luxury 350 is obviously uh, reversed or mirrored. Um, other than that, everything on the shoe is identical. 
obviously the Adidas Yeezy in there on the sole. Um, sorry, excuse me one second, that's my phone uh, vibrating. Oh, no. There we go. Obviously, on this pair we have the tags. So we've got the uh, PRC Hong Kong, UK and France. Some colour migration can occur due to the nature of the material, blah, 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 blah. And then we've got this uh, handling tag or whatever it is that they attach. But yeah, so thanks for watching my video guys, that's my uh, unboxing and review of the um, Black Copper EasyBoost 350 V2. As always, um, check out my Instagram at kicks underscore and underscore caffeine with a K um, to see on foot pics and much much more of these than any other shoe that I've picked up recently. Um, if you haven't already, hit the um, like button, hit the subscribe button, stay tuned, there will be plenty more to come. Peace.